Uh, actually, it was quite a good uh, example of uh, describing how investors, uh, what investors think about Russia. And we are doing it for the second time over the last two years. And uh, it's quite good because all the time you can see areas where we are improving in Russia and the areas where are still lagging behind. So overall results are pretty good. Uh, I would say that in the current environment, the fact that Russia has not uh, decreased its ranking on the level like overall investment climate is quite a positive fact. So we didn't move too far ahead uh, in changing business environment, but still uh, we are not falling behind. Um, overall, uh, the findings are the following. Russia is occupying second place in Europe uh, in terms of employment uh, generated through foreign direct investment. And uh, it was position number six back in 2011. We also can see that Russia is making progress, being ninth uh, largest global consumer market. So this is a positive fact for Russia. Uh, we can see that the trend also is good where we talk about industries which attract foreign investment. Uh, we can see that in the past years, oil and gas and natural resources were the priorities for foreign investors, the most interesting and attractive industries. Nowadays, we can talk that, uh, for example, from the last year's survey, uh, which was presented yesterday, uh, the industry which was the most interesting for investors was automotive sector. It's like car production, car components, and all those things. Uh, second was business services, and the third was uh, chemicals. So this is uh, giving pretty good uh, description of uh, direction in which uh, investment are going in the country. Uh, the key investments uh, are coming from the United States, Germany and France. So geography, to be honest, didn't change too much. It's still coming from the developed markets and they're pretty much well known. So uh, I would say that uh, this is pretty much very general, very brief summary of what came up from the survey. And we'll keep doing that. And, uh, and that's good because it's a very good cut of people who are interviewed, 200 people from, more than 200 people from 24 countries, and they're all multinational. 70% of the people who participated in the survey from the investors who's got money in the country already would like to continue investing and put more money and develop more projects in the country. Uh, while those uh, companies which have not invested in Russia, uh, only 6% of them are looking into Russia with a positive uh, attitude. So this is kind of a situation where Russia needs to work on improvement of its image because the reality is uh, not really reflected in the minds of people abroad for those who have not been in this market. Uh, the good thing is that, again, there is change. If in the past years we're talking about return on investment as the key driver, uh, nowadays it has changed. Return on investment moved to the second position. The first one is the growth of consumer market. So uh, companies talk about good margins in Russia. If you compare it to other big countries, Russia has got pretty good margins. On the, in fact, for fast-moving consumer goods, they are big fans of the country. So they're making really, really good money here. Uh, we can talk about, uh, as I said, consumer market, return on investment, and pretty good uh, infrastructure in certain regions. Not everywhere, unfortunately, in many of the Russian regions, infrastructure is not set yet for accepting foreign investment, but uh, where it is, uh, there is enough of human resource, skilled labor, uh, infrastructure to keep a good level of a good level of operations of any business. So 